Well, Hellfire has rocked the riff. I bet for another Metalhead Envy. And uh, I'm continuing my journey down the rabbit hole of new music here on Apple Music. And uh, found another album cover that I really dig by Void of Vision. If you can see that exactly. But it's like, dang, oh, that looks pretty cool. And so typed in their name here on YouTube, found they have a music video. And uh, let's dive on in. Oh, which, by the way, anybody that checks out my reaction that I did to suggested that at least the day before this one does, I totally forgot I checked out the title of that album track, uh, Ashes Last Steel, until after I had done recording. So... I gotta be better about not being a jackass here on my own channel. Let's dive on into this though. Okay. Are we gonna get some nine inch nails? Rocking the ball too, brother. Okay. I can definitely get behind that. Really, I was with a group of friends this weekend. We went to the Renaissance Festival. And uh, my one buddy, I swear, this is his, his eternal timing. Is that boots, 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 that uh, drum and bass kind of thing going on here. First, I thought that was the guitarist from uh, Perfect Circle. Circle. I can't remember what his name is right now, though. But this is catchy so far. Hell, hell, hell. Hellfire. That one ironic. I really am digging the setting and everything going on within this music video. I think it's pretty cool. It's a little chaotic. I'm a little like trying to figure out what this is. It looks like an old bank vault door or some shit. I don't know, but it's a pretty cool set piece. UNFD, is that the record label? I didn't understand a fucking word he just said right there. <laughs> but I like this track. It's a catchy track uh, for me. Because, hell, I still listen to Nine Inch Nails, uh, especially the old stuff. 
But uh, I just keep thinking, like, dude, kudos to your confidence for pulling this look off, brother. Bald, tore all the hell leather jacket with spikes and studs and uh, eyeliner. I guess that's what that's called. Fucking kudos for it, man. I get picked on a lot, especially around where I live, and everybody picks on me. That, like, like I dress like this, and get to talking about music. I get super into. I might kind of be a little too obsessed with music, and I might uh, talk people's ears off a little too much when it when they when we dive into that subject, and then if we start showing each other songs. The shit that I show them and they look at me, they're like, I cannot believe you would listen to stuff like this. I'm like, why? They're like, well, look at the way you're dressed. You're in overalls and cowboy boots and fucking uh, look at you. And so that's one of the, I think that would probably be one of the more annoying things I hate is the whole imagery. It's like uh, me and my own band, well, that personal experience uh, getting... I mean, this chick was like hating on me bad. She's like, I can't believe you listen to this. Da, 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 da. You should be listening to this. I'm like, well, who who cares what you wear? I mean, music is what you like. Whatever comes to your ears and whatever makes you fucking move. I mean, it don't matter if I wear leather and eyeliner or if I wear overalls and camouflage. I mean, people like what they like. It doesn't matter how you dress. But, uh, my other personal experience story was when I think my band can't remember. It was one of our first earlier gigs. And I mean, we just wear what's comfortable on stage. We don't have like a uniform and all that kind of shit. And we had somebody that was like, was like, man, y'all are metal and y'all are good and all this stuff, but y'all dress like a bunch of frat boys and, Hell, man, I never went to a fucking university or nothing, so I don't even know exactly what a frat boy is supposed to dress like. I just remember wearing, I was wearing a pair of fucking blue jeans and a t-shirt, like, and either work boots or cowboy boots. So, either way, just sitting here thinking at the imagery and outfit, it just made those thoughts come across my mind. Back to the track. It's an electronic breakdown. That's cool. AV club. I wouldn't mind working with that dude or group on a music video. Matter of fact. Hell yeah. So that was slick. Uh picture of that vault door again. How was it at? A little chaotic for sure. Son of a bitch. Fuck it. Uh I dig the track. I really dig the instrumentation. I do Vocals fit it. Uh, 
I wouldn't. They're not. I won't think they're one hundred percent for me, but they're not the worst I've ever heard. Uh, four horns for the track though, and they definitely have done their job. Void of Vision, I'm like, okay, I, I wouldn't mind checking, seeing out what else they got. I mean, I will say for this whole industrial rock sound, metal sound, whatever the hell you want to call it, uh, hard to beat Nine Inch Nails for me. I know there's a bunch out there and. There's some that do it really, really well, but I don't know if many people have beat like, like, closer or the hand that feeds. Terrible lie. Uh, every day is the same. Those old school Nine Inch Nails tracks just nailed the fuck out of this genre, if that's the right way to describe it. Um, <clears throat> I dig it though. Boy Division, you're you're pretty fucking badass. I give you I give you credit on that. I it part of me though, like watching the music video and seeing the guitars and the live drums, I'm sitting there like kinda like I don't even really hear live drum guitar and <laughs> So I don't know if that was done for the music or if it's just really hidden into the mix. Which that's another thing. Killer mix and master. Uh I would imagine like, I didn't hear a super amount of bass in these headphones, but I'm wondering if you had a car that actually had a good sub and all that, if you could hear some of the drops that are in this track, if there's any drops in this track. And, uh, yeah, that was a cool little fun video, though. I would love to, if the guy, I don't even know who directed this, because I just like, I don't know, I like the locations. I like this... Like the filter over it makes me think of an old school horror movie, seventies style, seventies eighties movie, and I think I I don't know why I I got a fascination for that, especially where I've been doing a lot of ghost reactions and seeing uh some of their music videos and that same same kind of filters over it. I want to do a music video that has this old school horror aesthetic. I just wish I knew, I had the tech savvy to DIY it, and uh, I don't. I need to start, I'd love to work with some people that do know how to do it and try to learn, and then figure out my own interpretation of all that. That would be really cool. But, uh, Four Horns, if I hadn't already rated it, definitely, definitely a catchy track, and definitely, I know plenty of people that would go ham on this track fucking jam the fuck out of it but if this is your first time to my channel please leave a like comment subscribe tell me some cool stuff give me some trivia tell me some other bands to check out i am um, always on the hunt for something cool and interesting and with that stay positive stay rocking i'll catch y'all on the next one